Hello YouTube. Uh, just showing my drill press actually in operation. Uh, like I said, my belt's a little loose, and uh, this doesn't have a power feed, but I'm actually uh, letting gravity pull this. It goes down real slow, but uh, if I push on it, that uh, pulley, the belt slips on it. I've already tightened it up once, I may tighten it up again, but uh, it does work barely. You gotta have patience, but I work kind of slow anyway. Anyway, I wanted to show you kind of what I'm doing. I'm building some fullering dies for a uh, uh, Smith magician or a, or a blacksmith helper. I'll show you that right now. Now I built this uh, in a few years ago, and uh, for you blacksmith-oriented people, uh, you probably are familiar with these. They uh, there's several videos on YouTube that show you how to build these. Most of them build them with a two inch by half inch uh, flat bar. And uh, I always like to go a little bit heavier. So this is actually three inch. And that piece right there is cut out of a piece of uh, leaf spring. And this goes in the bottom. It's just a piece of uh, uh, coal roll or a uh, hot roll flat bar. This is like a cutoff. I think I use this as a baining tool, making leaves. I, I uh, made some, some roses, iron roses and uh, copper roses and stuff. I had some fullering dies. And uh, you might have noticed, I'm not really organized out here. I'm trying to get organized. This trailer is, uh, is a tour de force, an organization. I'm gonna get organized. And that's why I uh, built all my shelves. And, uh, so what I'm built, I'm, I'm having to make another set of fullering dies. And a fullering dies, in this case, I, I got my uh, a half inch by three inch flat bar, and this is just half inch uh, round bar, which I'm gonna uh, full weld it. I'm gonna TIG weld it, because this has to fit inside the, the Smith's position. But this, this'll be full welded. I'm gonna weld this one on the bottom with uh, little legs sticking out in case uh, the, uh, the, the, the swarf, the hot metal, uh, goes down in there and gets caught and it won't come out, I'll be able to pry it out of there. But I wanted to show you this. I don't know if we're able to see this, but if you look at this, this is a 11.30 seconds by 16 threads per inch. I'm sorry about moving it around there. And uh, it was patented 1888. I got a, a whole box of these old antique uh, dies. And they got some very oddball sizes. Here's another one that's uh, this is pretty standard, 3816. But I was gonna try to find another one here that I had. Uh, This one's a 5 16 18. That's pretty standard. 3 8 24. 
for the 28. Here we are. This is what I just want to show you this one. This one here is 11 30 seconds 18. And apparently, back in the day, which I think these are all uh, patented 1888, but back in the day they, they made some really oddball sizes. 13 30 seconds, 11 30 seconds. But I got these, these, these little split dies. They're from uh, 1877. I'm a, I'm a tap and die nut. I really like threads. I haven't uh, turned any threads on the, on the lathe yet. I uh, got to learn how to use the lathe a little bit before I, I think about turning some threads. But uh, just thought I'd update and uh, you see that it kind of slowed down a little bit. And this is just a, a gravity feed with the handle. But if I just leave this alone, you can almost call it a auto feed, uh, gravity feed. And my, uh, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I bought a, a floor model, 16 speed uh, drill press at Harbor Freight in 1994. And the truth is, I have drilled thousands of holes with it. Large holes, hole saw holes, uh, inch and a half holes, uh, mild steel, stainless, and uh, my drill press just quit working. But you know what? That, uh, people put Harbor Freight down. But uh, that drill press has uh, drilled a lot of holes here for me. And uh, I think I can uh, put it back together. I, when I bought it, I read the reviews on it. A lot of people said, oh, the first thing I did was change the, the bearings. I said, those Chinese bearings are no good. And uh, they may have a life expectancy. And uh, they see 94, this is 2018, that's 14 years. I don't know, maybe their life expectancy is 14 years. I actually drilled more holes with it than what you would consider a back here, backyard uh, mechanic. I've uh, been building equipment all my life. And I, and I uh, uh, like I said, I drilled thousands of holes with that thing. And now I'm gonna look into it and if it needs a bearing, I'll see about changing the bearings, and who knows, maybe I'll get another 14 years out of it. But uh, if you uh, use things the way they're supposed to be, now I gotta tell you the truth, I, I, it's a 16 speed, I put it at the slowest speed, and I drill all my holes at the slow speed. And, and, and I know uh, small holes are supposed to speed it up, but I drill my pilot holes, with the slowest speed, which I think that one was uh, 160, 170 RPM. And uh, I just left it there, had good luck. You know, uh, if you drill any stainless, the uh, trick to stainless is uh, drill it slow, keep uh, cutting fluid on it, and make sure your drill bits stay sharp. Take a little bit dull, take them off, touch them up on the grinder, and they, you won't have any problems. I've, I've uh, uh, went through a lot of indexes from uh, Harbor Freight and, and uh, I've had no problems with their indexes. I take the, the cheapest drills that they make. Uh, I, I hope you don't think this is sacrilege, but uh, I've drilled uh, 20 quarter inch pieces of stainless with one of their drills. It's a quarter inch drill and I need a, a 
quarter inch three eighths hole and I punch it through a quarter inch stainless and go through 20, 30 pieces, whatever I need. And uh, you just pay attention, keep it slow, keep uh, cutting fluid on it and uh, keep that drill bit sharp and it'll work for you. Well, this is a, uh, it's been long enough. So I'm gonna uh, thank you for watching and, and subscribing and leaving comments. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.